James Kaufman, World News Report today, November 6, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We had an X flare directly Earth facing our sunspot AR3883. It peaked at 1340 UTC time and created an R3 radio blackout, folks. We're going to go into the details of that right now. Jumping over to Go's X-ray flux, we see that we've had several M flares. Now, Noah is saying currently we've had seven M-class solar flares. I am seeing about 10, it looks like, here on our Go's X-ray flux. We also see our prominent X flare, 1340 UTC timer, about 640 this morning central time, an X 2.3. Wow, again peaking at 1340 UTC time, or right before 7 a.m. this morning. All right, jumping over to spaceweatherlive.com, we can see our X 2.39 or 2.3 solar flare. This is the largest flare we've had in 72 hours and definitely in 24 hours. You can see that the flare started at 1324, about 624 a.m. Central Time, peaked about 1340, and subsided around 1346, or about 646 a.m. Central Time this morning. Now, spaceweatherlive.com says we had two, uh, four, five, six, six additional M flares. It looks based on goes that we've had 10 10 m flares up and above our x flare now most of those were generated by our earth facing sunspot that's a delta class sunspot ar 3883 however ar 3886 is in play and 3887 is in play i'll show you where those are really a freak show uh, when we take a look at our sun next. Today we have a 35% chance of having an X-class solar flare. We can make that 100%. We had an 80% chance of an M-class solar flare. They said that we've had six events. I believe it's closer to 10 events currently. And we've been running a C baseline for at least three or four months. I think we dropped a below it only for one day in the last year or so. All right, what do we see here? It looks like we have three, six, nine Earth-facing sunspots currently. Now, this might be a little bit different on spaceweatherlive.com. We'll take a look. We have most of the activity directly Earth-facing coming out of 3883. We'll take a look at the makeup of these sunspots next. Then we had one flare come out of 3887 which was just named on the departing limb over here, and one M flare come out of 3886, which was most recently named on the incoming limb over here. Very, very strange. It looks like 3879 should be in play. We'll take a look at the complexity of that sunspot shortly. All right, taking a look at our sunspot regions they are reporting all nine sunspot regions that are earth facing currently on our solar disk on space weather live we know that most of the activity is coming out of our delta class sunspot here 3883 with 24 sunspots in the sunspot group we also know that we had one m flare from 3886 most recently named coming around our incoming limb with 28 sunspots it's probably going to be a complex sunspot here in no time it's like it's moving in that direction quickly and then we had one m flare out of 3887 down here it's just a beta class sunspot group moving around towards the departing limb as we saw with eight sunspots in that group Moving over to our Go Solar Ultraviolet Imager 195 Angstroms. You can see that flare occur right here, directly Earth facing. That's our X 2.39 solar flare. 
We also have a crow hole directly earth facing. We should see an uptick in solar winds within the next 40 hours ish. We can also see AR3886 right here, responsible for one of the M flares, and 3887 departing over here, responsible for another M flare. The sun looks like a mess with nine total sunspot groups on the earth facing side of our solar disk. Moving over to our D region absorption prediction center, this is the X. 2.39 solar flare. I thought it would actually produce more x-ray flux than this. We'll take a look at the plant real quickly. Everyone's getting their dose of radiation with 6 to 10 M flares, depending on who you ask, ongoing. So plenty of radiation for everyone. And again, 1340 was the peak of our x-class solar flare which actually is 640 central time here in the u.s it actually peaked over the atlantic ocean and parts of brazil heading over to sdo aia 131 angstroms i want to show you all that we really had a sympathetic solar flare out of sunspot ar 3886 when the X flare popped off directly Earth facing, I would guess that this created a chroma ejection, but we are awaiting that information. I did also want to mention this prominence uh, or this solar filament that is coming off the sun. We did see that on the GO Solar Ultraviolet Imager, and I will jump right back there for one second. Look at the size of that filament, dark filament coming from what looks like sunspot AR3886. I did want to point that out here. Jumping over to STO HMI magnetogram, it looks like everything is as it should be. I guess uh, everything looks like normal polarity. We have a huge sunspot coming around the limb here. This was taken at 1800, so about midnight last night central time. And this is from today. And well, it's all right here, 3883, 3868, and 3867. And this is the sunspot that's so simple, white over black, that's not produced any flaring. A final look at Soho 284 angstroms. I have no idea what's going on here. This was taken at 106 on the 5th, so this is old data. 48 hours plus old. I don't know why they haven't updated this. This is more than strange. With that said, the big story of the day is the X 2.39 solar flare directly earth facing and the crow hole directly earth facing. Again, I will let y'all know as the story develops if a coronal mass ejection has been created. We are on a solar weather or geomagnetic watch for tomorrow, November 7th. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro World.